So as you can see, I actually used this, the hydropeptide, for six and a half weeks, and this is what happened. As you can see, there really is nothing left in here. I picked out some products from the skin store. This video is not being sponsored. They have not paid me. They basically said to choose some products. So based on the ingredients list, I actually wanted to uh, try this because this is very well known in the professional skincare industry. I don't think not as much in the mainstream, but I wanted to try this one because it's it's more on the expensive side and I have to tell you, the fine lines in my forehead, a lot of those really minimized. Obviously, I still have my deeper wrinkles, but this one really minimized. The I still use this with my MD Dermaceutical uh, Lightning Serum and my Overnight Repair Cream. A lot of the age spots really started to fade and more of an even skin tone. So I noticed that when I was doing my videos, my skin texture really, really improved and tone. So really it evened out my skin tone. I really, really like this one. Also, I started to have more fine lines on this side and I think it's because this is my driving side so I used that on there and I was like looking in the light to see and um, those are pretty much gone so six and a half weeks so even though I tried this for free I'm actually going to buy this one again even though it is kind of expensive because it actually works so there are some big words that are coming but you need to know this especially if you are thinking about buying something like this again i'm not getting any commission you don't have to get this you can get 25 percent off anything at the skin store um, skin and or hair some exclusions apply and they, they change every month so i don't know what they are so first of all the second ingredient in here is reservatrol reservatrol which ferment which is it's called the wine antioxidant because the antioxidant comes from the grape skin. So that is a great antioxidant. The Bellus Perennis, which is the daisy flower extract, and that's also in the Image Illuma uh, Intense Brightening Cream. That is a tyrosinase inhibitor. So that prevents the uh, enzyme, which converts the melanin to turn brown. And that's pretty high up there as well. That's actually one, two, three, that's the fourth ingredient in there. Then it follows by uh, glycerin, which is a humectant. The next one is diglucosyl gallic acid, and that is also a skin lightener and brightener. It's actually four times more potent than vitamin C, and it actually uh, starts to lighten at the four different levels in your skin. So it is a very stable tyrosinase inhibitor, and it prevents melanogenesis. It also decreases inflammation. Now the next one is phenyl ethyl resorcinol, and that is a skin safe uh, skin lightener and it actually lightens facial hair. The other one is a plankton extract and so that also is a tyrosinase inhibitor. The other one is tetrahexyl diesel ascorbate and that is a fat soluble form of vitamin C. It helps also inhibit pigment formation. It also stimulates collagen production. So as you can see, it has quite a bit of ingredients in there that help stop the formation of melanin. Now this is not as aggressive as Retin-A or glycolic acid, so the results are going to be slow. So for me, it took six and a half weeks to actually really start to see the difference in my skin. Um, I had to empty one full bottle of it. But wait, does it help with fine lines and wrinkles? I'm so glad you asked. So hence the name, peptide and hydropeptide, it actually has uh, several amino peptides in there to help with fine lines and wrinkles. It has ginger root extract that helps plump out medium to deep wrinkles and I did see a major difference in my fore forehead wrinkles and then I had fine lines on the side of my face and that is basically gone. So I really like this one and like I said, I look at the ingredients, I try them out and you guys never know this, but most of the products I try, I don't bother reviewing because I don't want to leave a negative review on there unless um, I have worked out something with the uh, person that sent me the product that I, listen, you know, this really didn't work as well. And a lot of times they understand and they would rather me not do the review. 
Now in one of our videos, I did talk about using citrus uh, essential oils because they can be photo uh, sensitizing to the skin unless it's diluted and it actually was at the very bottom of there so it's it should be okay and obviously you know with my skin my skin is not sensitive but i've noticed that as i've gotten older my skin does react a little bit more to um, specific ingredients but i didn't find any i didn't get any reaction to this i didn't have any stinging or burning so what's the con okay so the con is according to their website for one ounce of this, and this lasted me six and a half weeks, and I actually used it morning and evening. Um, it's $128, so it is expensive, but at the skin store right now, you can get 25% off. I think you can get this, because they let me choose it. Um, and the code for that, and again, you can use it for almost any skincare or hair care product, is C capital C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, Christy, um, and it's 25% off the other thing is 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 that i would recommend using this for the summer it's not as drastic for those of you who have hyperpigmentation and, that, and that's why it says pigment brightening pigment corrector it slowly fades a lot of that for those of you who have heavy duty pigmentation i think this would be safer to use for the summer just to keep the pigments at bay but as far as like really breaking apart the pigmentation it's probably going to take a whole lot more aggressive measures and this is not really aggressive so it's time to get another one i typically use one whole bottle of most skincare products and then don't ever review it because it's not worth reviewing but I am actually gonna buy another one of these. It's $120, maybe I can find one less expensive. I don't know, maybe I could use my code. Who knows? Anyway, so remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science.